All right, now what I would start with for this movable wheel project is a black scrap of paper. I'm gonna fold it in half so that I only have to draw and cut one. And I'm going to be using, um, oh, it's about a two inch circle. And I'm gonna take a white pencil just so you can see it on the video better, but normally I would trace it with a regular pencil. Go around that circle leave it folded and cut it out with your scissors don't get in a hurry cutting your circles remember you need to go slow and turn your paper evenly so you get a nice cut out circle and then you're going to want to get a hole puncher and use the hole puncher in the middle of the circle. Now, if you're worried about getting off of the middle a little bit, sometimes what I do is I cheat and I just give it a little pinch in the middle right here. And then I will fold it in half the other way and give it a little pinch right there. And then where those two um, little pinches cross each other, crisscross each other, that's kind of like they made a little X here. Okay, um, but I'm going to reach my hole puncher in. Oops. And when you're putting your paper in a hole puncher, you always want to be below this little piece that's a hook because that's to keep this part that punches the paper um, from getting stuck to the paper and ripping it, okay? So it should look like this where the puncher is at the top and this piece is above the paper and then the part that where the hole is going to be punched through is um, right above the paper or right below the paper, I'm sorry. So reach in and give that a little punch and then you should have your two black wheels made, okay? The other thing you're going to need to get is you're going to get two of these little brass fasteners. They are um, gold, at least the ones I have right here, and they have a little circle on the top and then there's like two pieces that can be pulled apart. So it's almost like two little legs. You wanna keep them together for the moment, but you're gonna need two of those and you're going to still use your hole punchers but what you're going to do is you're going to want to put these close to the bottom of the page you just can't do it in the middle when your hole puncher doesn't reach in very far so you're going to take this hole puncher and line it up at the bottom with the hole that you just punched in the wheel so you can see where it needs to go through okay and then what you'll do is you'll take your little brass fastener because you've now punched a hole through the paper and through the wheel, and you'll just drop it in there. And on the back, you'll actually pull those two little legs apart and flatten them so that this will hold it on, and then your wheel can turn, okay? So you wanna do that with the other one. Now I would leave about, oh, I don't know, probably three fingers, maybe four, since your fingers will be smaller than mine in between the two wheels before you punch the next one. So let's get that one punched and put your second brad through that one. Then you're ready to kind of draw your picture. So what is going to be the vehicle? You're gonna want your pencil first, of course, to draw. Now on second thought, I didn't grab a pencil because I figured it might be a little bit harder for you to see on the video if I drew with pencil than if I drew with a black marker. So to start your vehicle, and you can make whatever vehicle you want. There are some drawing books in the drawing book drawer area. And so you can definitely borrow one of those to help you draw a vehicle. But what I always do is I kind of draw the line between the wheels first, and then I draw the hubcap over the top of the wheel, okay, or the wheel wheel. And so you'll wanna draw that first. And then you're gonna decide which is the front, which is the back, and you can make it going either way. It does not matter to me, but I normally draw on both sides out again, okay? Um, and then you can decide which part of it you're gonna do. Like I'm gonna make like a bumper here. And I think what I'll do is I'll actually make a school bus. And so the back of the school bus would come up, it would go over, across, and then you're gonna kinda have like your windshield come down and the front of the bus come out and then back down and I'm gonna make my other bumper over here real quick and then I can start adding on the details like the little window um, the little bus grill in the front you could have some windows 
The bus needs to have the windows. Oh, my marker is really drying out. Sorry about that. Apparently I picked one that has been used and well loved. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna put the lines across the bus. Now the other side would probably be the door where you get on and off, so the stop sign might be on this side because that would be the opposite of the door side. Okay, and then if you wanted to put like another little window here for the bus driver obviously to see out, that would probably be a good idea. Put a little exhaust in the back. And really that's not too bad. You could definitely add more details that you're thinking of like lights, the stop light and the flashy light. Okay. And then I would probably go on and add like the background. So you would add like your road back here. Um, let's see. Oh, you know those houses, origami houses that we made? I'm going to add that up here. So I'm going to put that on and then I will probably draw like maybe the road or the sidewalk coming down to the road or um, maybe the neighbor's house drawn over here. Maybe some gardening type flowers or vegetable garden plants. I don't know. I'm going to finish this up and then I will show it to you when I have it all drawn out. All right, first grade, I went ahead and drew my background. I got it all sharpied and traced up. Um, you will want to draw with pencil first, of course, like I did, and then kind of um, trace it with your Sharpie. And then, uh, let's see, I added background with the trees. I added my horizon line way up here. Remember, that's where the sky line touches the ground line. So you gotta color that ground up to that line. Um, the road is colored in. I added the house. I went ahead and just glued it down onto my paper. If you uh, made one the last time that we met, then you will have one of these. If not, you can just draw one on here if you didn't want to make one. And then you've got your wheels attached and I've colored it up and it's ready to turn in. So have fun making a movable wheel picture.